Locked Bud Gaz, a decorated WAP2 hero, shares a somber and critical view of the current state of the United States. His deep concern revolves around the historical awareness of today's younger generation and their readiness to defend the nation's freedoms. What do you think about the state of, of America today? I think it's horrible. Uh, and firsthand, because I've taught, I'm not taught, I've talked to, to school groups. And as I said before, they have, I, I have to teach them about it before I can tell them about it, if you know what, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that young men in their teens and early 20s, if, you know, some, if a Pearl Harbor type event happened, do you think they would all rush to sign up? I wonder. I can't answer because I, I wonder too. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them about fighting for freedom? Well, they, I would say that they should really appreciate freedom and how they do, how they get that information. I don't know, but mm -hmm. study it and be serious with it. Gaza's criticism reflects a widespread unease about the erosion of traditional values, such as patriotism and respect for the sacrifices made by earlier generations. Many fear that the sense of national pride and commitment, once a defining characteristic of Americans, is fading among today's youth, emphasizing the critical importance of history education and a deep understanding of freedom Goss's views align with conservative values that champion the education of national heritage and the responsibilities of civil rights. His doubt about whether young people today would volunteer in a crisis, as they did during events like Pearl Harbor, underscores a skepticism about the current generation's willingness to serve and sacrifice for their country. It paints a picture of modern youth as potentially less prepared to respond to national emergencies and possibly more indifferent to civic responsibilities, highlighting a perceived decline in civic duty and national commitment.